What's up, good people, aka winners? That's what we do, a. Hey, that's all we do, a, 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 a. I'm coming to you with another video, a. Hey, coming to you with another video, Ficky, Ficky, a. Anyway, so I am back, girl. This is like girls and guys, okay? But I am back and I'm rocking my little quarantine situation. Wasn't nobody about to do a wig on today. Mm -mm, no way. Mm -mm. Shout out to a supporter that hit me up on Facebook and said, can you do a video where um, if you have big eyes, you can make them smaller, or if you have smaller eyes, you can make them bigger. I don't remember which one, but we're gonna talk about them both. And there are a lot of tips and tricks that you can do to make your eyes bigger, you know, appear bigger, right? And if you want to make them smaller. And one time I actually, um, I was doing a celebrity's makeup. It was about, oh my goodness, probably like four or five years ago, y'all. And she had really small eyes. And she was like, um, she said, oh yeah, the last makeup artist did this, 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 and that. But then she was complaining about her small eyes, right? How they always look like they're really close, like when she's performing and all that stuff. And so I told her at that time, I gave her a little technique, a little tip, a little trick, girlfriend, on how to make them appear bigger. Now, it's not like, it's not mad magic, right? Like it's not going to change your whole eye. It's not surgery, but it does give you the appearance of having bigger eyes. I could go hard and do a bunch of different steps, but I want to talk about a couple of common ones. All right. I'm all up in your grill so you can see the real a a a no, I'm just kidding. So first and foremost, I told you guys about this trick already. I have semi hooded lids, right? I do have, you know, a nice amount of lid space right here, but my crease does come down fairly low, right? But the rule of thumb when we're watching videos or when we're watching all these different techniques, the first thing they say is you want to put eyeshadow in your crease, your transition, your transit. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Hmm? Pause for the cause. <laughs> first things first, we say that you want to put a transition color in your crease, right? Well, here's the thing. All creases are not created equal. Just saying. So when I do mine, I legit, I'm actually, do not judge me because I definitely broke my... <laughs> palette, but this is Morphe and Jacqueline Hill's The Vault palette, okay? And as you can see, Mugshot is well loved. Mugshot, hey, diggy diggy. All right, so anyway, so what I do, even though my crease is like right here, and when we say crease, crease is where your eye creases, right? That is where it creases, right? So maybe I should say to put your color in your socket more so like in there because I do not go like right in my crease down there. I always take my transition color up higher. And when I take my transition color up higher, it gives the illusion that I have larger lid space. Okay. So we are going to take this color. We're going to put it in my socket right like the eye socket a little above the crease yes i am doing the crease but i have a bigger brush that covers a lot of space this is the morphe e22 brush and i'm simply taking it and going further up and another key thing that you want to do when you are um, making your eyes you know appear more open whether they're whether you want to make them look smaller or whether you want to make them look larger you should just always make sure that you do your brows and i always make sure that i have an arch right now my arch is not this high right um it's it's high right here but I give the illusion that it's higher by sculpting it a little bit higher than what it really is, okay? Um, I don't wanna say fake it till I make it because I don't think it's ever gonna be like that, but I like it, okay? So if you want your lid space to appear larger, um, and I will link a video where I did this. I think the last video where I did my semi-cut crease, I did this and I told you guys why. Um, this is a LA Girl HD primer stick, pro primer that is, Pro Primer if you're nasty. No, it's Miss Jackson if, okay. Anyway, so I take this HD primer. Like if you are new to my channel, which let me just pause for the cause. If you are not a part of the family, I'm gonna need you to come on in. I don't even know why you're not. So come on in, join the fam bam, and um, hit, you know, by subscribing, hit that notification bell so that you get notifications of all of my videos. And now I can say what I was gonna say. If you are a part of the family, you already know how we get down over here. We just have fun. Cause it's just, makeup is equals fun. Well, makeup times C key equals fun. <laughs> so I take this and I usually, you know how people, 
put their primer or their base on their mobile lid before they apply their eyeshadow. Well, I take it way up there to make it appear like my lid is larger than it is. Okay. Because I really would appreciate having more lid space, but I don't. So I just kind of make it happen when I want to. However, if you do that, just know that at some point in the day, you are going to have some creasing because there's a crease there and you're opening and closing your eyes all day long, even if you're not trying to. And so it's a natural crease. So it's going to crease at some point and your um, eyeshadow may begin to fade. That's why when I do that, I always use a strong base, whether it is um, the um, HD primer by LA Girl, or if I'm using like a, a shimmer or a foiled shadow or something of that nature, I'll use the MAC mixing medium and that will definitely keep my eyeshadow from, from shifting or from moving around a lot. So on the smaller eye, like, you know, if you just didn't really want to, you know, make that crease. I mean, if you didn't want to go above that crease and you just want to go in the crease, first of all, you would use somewhat of a smaller brush, but you would just go in your little crease. I'm going on the lid a little bit too, cause my brush is big. This is like what you would do if you wanted to make them appear smaller then you don't want to go way up in your crease and if you have small lids then and you just put it right here this is one reason why it doesn't look like they are wider see what happens when i put the eyeshadow up here it makes it it makes the it gives the illusion that i have oops <laughs> girl it gives the illusion that i have more space there okay so that's another technique you can try as well and so the next technique would be to get your brush girl and so like i told you if you want your um eyes to appear more lifted and more open then that's you want to put a brow bone highlight on there and so i'm going to use the morphe 3502 and that shade universal all the way in the corner up there right there a fave and i know it and so I just put that in the brow bone. Also, another thing that you can do to make your eyes appear bigger is you can do like take some um, a liner, just a little bit of liner or even an eyeshadow and kind of just like smudge it a little bit. Not quite like a full wing liner like I do, okay? But you could give it like a little bit of a wing to carry it out, to open it up a little bit. We're just gonna put on some mascara and we're gonna put on some lashes. One thing you do not want to do if you have very small eyes is yes, lashes are cool, but you don't want to put on lashes that are just like super heavy for your eye and that are gonna like, you could barely open your eye with them because they're heavy and they just look like spiders on your lid and they're just like totally overpowering your eye. But these aren't super big. I'm gonna try these for the first time. These are um, the Ardell 3D Faux Mink Lashes. And another tip that I tell people that have small eyes too, or not necessarily small eyes, but that have hooded lids, smoky eyes are your best friend. And I'm going to tell you why they are your best friend. One reason they are your best friend is because again, it's not like you're doing the crease. Like usually when we do an eye look, we have something on the lid, we have the crease, we have the brow bone, da, 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 right? And a lot of times hooded lids, you know, your creases can be way down here. And sometimes when you open your eye, it like goes like that and you can't really see anything. But when you do, or the eyeshadow you're wearing, but when you do a smoky eye, like the color goes all the way up here. And so it just makes it look as though your eye has a lot of space a smoky eye just it's it's one of those things that are like universal that makes a big eye look good makes a small eye look good you know as long as you do it right another thing you can do as well to make your eyes appear bigger is you can put lashes not lashes uh, mascara on the lower lash line but I really need to find like a baby doll <laughs> mascara that is super tiny. But I'm going back into the Morphe 35O palette and I'm using a color called Rich. So this is what you do. Now, I, if I want my eye to appear bigger, I take uh, an eyeshadow or you can take um, a liner if you want, but I don't like to go too dark, but if you are a black liner lover, just I'm gonna show you how you can do it and not close your eye all the way up. I take this right here and I go in the lower lash line, but I go a little lower than the lower lash line, right? And then that gives the illusion that my eyes are bigger. Now, if you just love your liner and you are that girl that has to have your liner, I'm not gonna make you throw it in the trash, girl. I, you can use it, but this is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is the MAC Feline Coal. This was, um, it's in a different packaging because it was like a holiday something. So anyway, what I do is I take it and I just put it right here in the waterline. 
So even though I have that deepness, the appearance of like that tight line that everyone loves with that lash, but I just, I mean, not the lash with the, um, with the waterline, but I just add a very little bit in the corner because I don't like, even though my eyes aren't really little and they're not really big, if I put liner all underneath the eye, it definitely closes up the eye. Now, that's what I see a lot of people with small, um, with small eyes do is, you know, I, I guess this is from like back in the day. First thing we learned when we learned how to put on makeup, right? Was to put on some liner and put on some gloss. Okay. And the thing is, you know, no one really ever explained to us what happens when we put that liner on. We just know we want to just get fine and put that or get fine and put that liner on. But let me show you what happens if you have smaller eyes, how it closes it up. Now you could do this if you have bigger eyes and you want them to appear, appear smaller as well. But this is what happens when you go in the waterline. You see how that just closed my eye up? It just made my eye go like smaller, like literally. And then on top of that, if you turn around and put a liner on the top, it's going to make it appear even smaller. So I don't do that unless I'm going for a specific look. You can totally use a darker shadow. Um, let's use this one right here from the same palette that I used earlier. You can use a deeper one. You can use one that's almost black if you want to. If you are that person that likes it to be darker, Go for it, it's okay. But let me tell you something, let me caution you, okay? Please, because I see this way too many times. If you are gonna use a black liner and you're gonna put it in your lash line, I'm gonna need you to take a brush, okay? Take a small brush, a pointed pencil brush, whatever kind of brush that's gonna get you in there and smudge it out. Because too many times people will put it in the lash line and then it just looks chunky. And then too, if you cry or if you're moving around a lot, it, it will begin to um, smear. And then you look like you've been crying or something, even if you hadn't, because you're just sweating. I'm gonna use this pencil right here. This is by Scandal Eyes and it is, I believe it's just their nude shade. And I'm gonna use this in the waterline. And a lot of times, um, even in, um, in TV land, right? Um, on, for filming purposes, a lot of times even males will use uh, the white or the nude in their waterline because it just makes you seem more, more awake. It makes your eyes look more open. So a lot of times people will use this, but I'm gonna caution you, especially me being a woman of color, I cannot use stark white in the lash line. It's gonna look like something is terribly wrong. Like so maybe I'm sick or, you know what I'm saying? It's just not, it's not all to the good. So you wanna make sure that you're getting a nice nude so you see how that opened up my eyes and here's the other thing too I've seen people do this with their eyes and they literally put like a lot like don't overdo it because it looks it just looks like something's wrong I almost want to wipe that black off this right here because I'm feeling this side but you see the difference in the eyes I don't know if you guys can see the difference but you have the um the lashes lifting it and then you have this part in here making it appear brighter and the reason that it does appear brighter is because we already have white in our eye and I don't know somehow the the nude and the white just kind of works together and it gives the illusion that it's bigger but another way that you can make your eyes look bigger as well um because it just brings a little light to it and makes them seem more open as well to take the highlighter that you are used to using right and that is your um well this is my Becca this is the Becca chocolate geode but I also use Beverly Hills but I want something kind of subtle just to give it open my Beverly Hills baby that's when we eat events and when we want to do it right I go there but this is just a subtle like let's put a little bit put a little love in your heart actually I should have went with Beverly Hill but anyway that also opens your eyes up too so what I did this is the final look but this is literally not like a beat beat okay because all I did was put on some corrector I put on some um concealer and a powder but what I wanted to tell you about the eyes I wanted to give you a little bit more insight as to what I did girlfriend listen Linda what I did was I went in with a makeup geek eyeshadow and the eyeshadow is Americano I believe it is I think it is okay anyway we bought hip pan on that too but I went and I did like a deeper shade and what I did is what I told you guys about right I went in with the primer and I literally went under there and you know made it pop just a little bit more because that other one 
wasn't giving me everything that I needed. So I just went in with this, like I told y'all. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see other techniques, give me some ideas because that was a great idea to talk about. You guys have an awesome, blessed day and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Thank you. Uh, running man in your chair. Hey. Keep me, me, confidence is key. You know what I mean. Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah.